Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing something or I'm actually going to be talking about something quite a bit different than usual. And it's going to be about the future of the drone mesh channel. Now recently I've actually decided to do this full time and for a couple of reasons. One is I'm not having enough time throughout the day and I've decided to actually give this a shot and see how well it goes. So let me tell you what's currently going on and what are my current plans and what I'm aiming to do. So uh, one thing first, I found a little office, which I'm going to call a workshop for around 250 bucks the other day. And that's within what I'm making from Patreon. So I want to thank my patrons out there for helping me out. You guys are awesome. It's just about what I'm making right now. So that's going to go straight to the office and that should be ready. Hopefully the beginning of this month, uh, next month, sorry. So in the first week of next month, hopefully I'll be in there. Now, what is this in what is this going to enable me to do? Well, one, I'm going to be actually putting eight to 10 hours per day into research, testing, documenting, fixing up the website. Also, um, adding more details about the components, summarizing everything, making everything very nice and understandable and not complicated in some type of a rating system, as well as graphing everything and uh, just doing a lot more tests. So, for example, here's here's little examples of what I have in mind right now, which I'll be able to do, which I really can't do at the current position in time where I don't have time. And it's very difficult to do in the house with the neighbors and my son. So uh, these tests actually are pretty loud when I run them. And my some of the tests that are going to be coming up for sure is torque testing on motors, noise testing motors, and just a very detailed and thrust testing as well. So torque is different than thrust. Torque is the how much force it has to push that prop. It's like horsepower, but oh, actually just like torque. So it's going to be pretty insane. Um, I'm going to be doing all that kind of crazy stuff. Also playing with the BL Heli timings, you know, all the BL Heli set 32 um, settings, the BL Heli S settings, beta flight, um, all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, uh, even the ESC's uh, test testing videos will be quite a bit different, which are going to be more in detail, more in depth, where I can show you how I'm doing this, the script I'm running to what potential it's actually running and how much noise that we're actually generating. So it's going to be very detailed and very specific. And I'll also go back and visit the older ESCs. So I'll have enough time to do all that as well as research, some crazy research. So another little uh, spoiler, maybe, if you want to say, um, I have this new testing equipment that's coming in. Hopefully next month it'll be here. It's basically a three axis gimbal where I could strap my quad to and I could move in three axes. But at the same time, it's, it's in a stationary position. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to be taking measurements of all the components while it's basically strapped on and booted with a battery and doing maneuvers. So simulating real flight and seeing the components and testing each component on a setup like that is just going to be insanely useful. And the type of data information I'm going to be gathering is just going to be ridiculously awesome. So that's going to also be a new parting part of my channel. It's going to be a new phase of testing. And also the build videos will right away have the flight footage with them now, since I'll have time to do that or have it in the video right after the build video. Uh, so you don't have to wait for it, how the flight went and what are the components and if the components were any good, what was bad and what I did. So it's going to be um, kind of a drone mesh, but more in depth and more of the things that you wish were there, but were missing. Because I've also wish I had the time to actually put this. I know what you guys need. I know the things that I, I, I'm unable to complete because it's very difficult. I'm pushing as much as I can at my current position in time. And it's very difficult. So let's talk a little bit about um, the basically the source of income or the funding for the channel. Currently, I have a couple sources, which is Patreon, so around 350 bucks. And I thank each and every single one of you. I'm very happy for what I'm making there. And I would really consider, I would really like if you guys also consider joining my mission and supporting me on Patreon there. I do give a lot of giveaways. I have two giveaways this month, actually three giveaways uh, on Patreon, which is one micro, the awesome 100 micro brushless. Uh, it's brand new. Also the iFlight Strider X2, the micro, uh, the advanced edition. It's also brand new. That's going to be up for a giveaway this month. Also, and uh, a high-end build is going to be up for a giveaway on Patreon. So the way the Patreon works is $1 per ticket or whatever you want to call it. So if you put five bucks, you get your name five times in the draw and it increases your chance of overall winning. Now we'll also be doing YouTube giveaways such as little budget builds and, and some other components. Now that's one source of revenue. The other is YouTube. YouTube's revenue is way below 500 bucks. So that's just 
there you maybe covered the bills or the internet costs so that that's very good in that perspective kind of um we also have what else uh, the affiliate links are okay they're pretty good sometimes uh they do help me get new components and everything i make from there uh it's actually below 400 bucks so 400 bucks was once that i got 400 bucks it was actually beautiful i was able to get more components usually affiliates i just save it up and then i buy components for the channel and that's what you see on the channel sometimes i buy one esc sometimes i'm able to buy all four escs if i think they're going to be any good to do some real world testing so the affiliates is also one source of income and if you're able to use the links down below they would really help support the mission and the channel um, everything that I make from the affiliates goes straight back to the affiliates I actually it would exchange it for parts and, and com components to actually test and then after that we'll just give them right away so that's my aim that's my goal I'll be doing a lot more giveaways I'm also going to be trying to sell some of the quads that I'm building well actually most of them to also support this uh, mission as well as the channel and myself so that's also another source of revenue that I'm hoping to actually achieve um, and another thing what I'm actually really aiming for are manufacturers to actually contact me and basically pay me to help them test the product and um, actually enable to release a better product of the virgin you know do revisions help them with the hardware tell them okay this one came out to be a little bit noisy this one had some weird hiccups sometimes it would do some weird jitter um, you know these kinds of things kind of like quality control but at the same time some advice you might say from the from the testing results that i'm getting here from the setup that i've been doing so i'm really hoping this is also the, i really want that to be kind of a major source of income you know but i really don't know I, this is my hopes this, this is what i'm really aiming for um and another thing oh yeah there's also another thing i'm currently working on a design of something called the Delta 5 racing timer. Now, this is an open source project. It's basically a, a drone racing timer, which actually, you know, uh, registers the drone that passed through the gate by the VTX channel. However, it's an open source project. I'll leave the link down below. But I've taken the PCB that's already made and I'm actually redoing it completely. Uh, I'm making a more advanced edition. We call it a drone mesh flavor of that PCB. Uh, that'll also go into supporting the channel as well as enable you to have a pretty sweet setup of a racing time, which is compatible with many of the uh, softwares, which can be online logged and everything. I'll leave a link to that down below. We'll get into that later on. So I have that working on. Hopefully that'll be ready in a couple weeks. And if you wanted to support the channel, you could also support the channel that way. Also, Patreon is also a great way to help support the channel. And you hopefully each and of you could get something in return. Now, these are my goals. Um, and I just I just wanted to be transparent with you guys. And I really hope you guys you know, see my mission or come along and help me through this mission because I'm totally excited. I'm really hoping. I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, it's a huge risk, but... Um, uh, if it goes through, it's just going to be unbelievable. And uh, the whole point of this is to actually, you know, gain as much knowledge and information to put it back into the FPV community. Because I'm going to be doing a lot of fun research, DIY projects, um, all kinds of crazy stuff. So that is my goal and my aim. And I, you know, and I just want to stick to that and do more. Um, so I believe now I'm going to be able to, I'm actually not going to take any days off because that's just, I just love this too much. So hopefully I'll be able to put the, those 10 hours per day, eight, eight to 10 hours per day. That's what I'm my, my goal and, um, research, you know, testing, just all kinds of crazy stuff. So I have more testing equipment actually arriving very soon. So it's going to be pretty awesome. So that's what's been going on in the background. So like I said, the the office or workshop, whatever you want to call it, it's a little like it's kind of like a one big room kind of thing. It's not even that big. It's OK. It's me. It's more than enough for me. So I really don't care. And it came with like two shelves. So that's just awesome. It's, it's, a, it's a little bit less I have to spend on it. Um, so I can just put quads up there, I guess. But um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. Um, I'm just going to have so much things to actually test and redo and just revisit and make you know proper graphs proper excel proper excel sheets um and you can just i want to do it in a way where you can just easily find what you need you know like some kind of a calculator where you put the price your budget and your noise ratio or something and then it'll pop that out for you with some kind of a beautiful rating system that everyone could understand so that is the goal that is the mission and um i have it's just going to be absolutely amazing um, so especially the motor testing part and the BLHeli 32 commands and, and motor timings, does that increase, you know, noise? Does that increase thrust? Does that it decrease torque? You know, these things I just cannot wait to put my hands on and playing with filters actually and live black box log and how actually the PIDs are actually affecting the noise on the quadcopter. I'll be able to do all that with the new testing equipment. So 
please consider supporting the mission, supporting the channel. It'll go a really long way. Um, I will constantly keep providing you with all kinds of information. And um, I really want to do this. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm very passionate. I really love this. So um, this is what I really want to do. I want to give back. And uh, it's just, it's a very interesting and it's very, like, undocumented part of this whole hobby which i want to do to enable you to make the right choice basically so that's my goal and that's my mission and i really hope you consider joining me and helping me and that's it guys so uh next month should be an absolutely brand new chapter in this channel with your support hopefully so wish me luck and let me know what you guys think down in the comment section and i'll see you next time see you guys take care